So today I didn't do anything. What do you mean you didn't do anything? Not a thing today because it's Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So everything is closed. So I didn't have to go to work today. And you know what? I figured out by the end of the day, this is what I was meant to do. Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how people do things all the time and enjoy it. I enjoyed doing, you know, I watched Superman 2. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and I washed my car and I looked for stuff for you and I to talk about. I really didn't do anything. You know, it's funny you would say that because the first time in, I mean, I started working when I was 15 years old. I had never been unemployed, never. And my first big radio job and big TV job, they just both ended at the same time. The show was over and the station flip format. So it was just one of these things where I just, I, for the first time in 20 years, I was unemployed. And first I was like, oh, I panicked, like, what am I going to do? And then after like a week, I was like, this is nice. After a month, I was like, this is really nice. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, huh, I was getting up. I was going to the gym. I was having coffee. I was seeing my friends. I was like, you know, all those friends of mine who only became mommies and quit their jobs and had like a husband taking care of them that I spent all those years judging them. Now I'm like, oh, those girls are smart. Like that's, whoa. (laughs) Like I wish it was 1950 again, but not in, you know, the racist, horrible, awful ways, but in the way that like it would be socially acceptable for like a woman to just stay home and let a man pay her bills. (laughs) Yeah. I, you know, every day is a blur to me now that I have a job. It's, it's just a different day waiting to be Friday. You know, I just, I want to get all the days done until it's the weekend. And, you know, today I did absolutely nothing and it was fantastic. But, you know, the truth is like you and I say that, but after a couple of weeks, like if you really didn't have a job or you really like had some time off or had some like sugar mama taking care of you, you would be so bored and so frustrated. I would say in like a month, I'll give you a whole month, probably less time, but I'm going to give you a whole month of being a kept man. No, I don't believe that because during COVID lockdown, what April, May, June, July, I really didn't do anything. And it was fantastic. And now that I actually have to go into an office every day and I had a three day weekend, I don't want it to end. Yeah. But you know, it's totally different when it's COVID and when it's not COVID because when it's COVID, everybody's inside. Most people are out of work. Most people are working less or working part-time or freelance it's not a, it's not unusual like you want to stay in because you want to stay away from covid but when it's not covid and everybody's working and you're not that's a terrible feeling you wouldn't last you wouldn't last a week I, you can say that to some people and they they will go yeah i understand i want to hang out with my friends i want to go outside i want to enjoy it no me I'm fine. I think I could do this for five, maybe six years of not doing a darn thing. I mean, I can find things to be busy about. I can go wash my car. I can, you know, put my suit coats in a different area of my closet like I I did today. I found things in my closet I I totally forgot about. And then I went back to watching Superman 2. Right. And, and it's it was everything I, I dreamt it would be. Then you better get on some of those sugar mama sites immediately. Because so, someone's got to pay your bills. If you're going to have that life, you're going to need someone to pay your bills. Okay. So that's the thing is I have to find somebody who makes a, a decent living and don't mind that I do nothing. You know, or somebody super old with one foot in a grave and the <gasps> other one on a banana peel. Oh, like a Betty White. <laughs> well... Betty White is going to outlive all of us. So not a Betty White. Oh, well, somebody, <laughs> somebody like than, Betty White. Yeah. Somebody other than Betty White, because you want somebody that can leave you a lot of money. She's you're she's going to outlive you. Yeah, that's true. But so I just need <laughs> I, I need to, to find a dating site 90 and above. Right. That's a great idea for a, for a dating site. <laughs> just 90, 90, it's going to be called 90 plus.com. And mm-hmm. you just go there and find people that are 90 plus years old. Yeah, they have that already. It's called Sugar Babies. It exists. <laughs> <laughs> Except you got to be super hot. You can't look like us. People, no one's looking for us, by the way. A 90 year old woman might. 
No, a 90 year woman. What if a 90 year woman is wealthy? She doesn't need you. She wants a 20 year old. What she need you for? What she need you for? I, I'm fun. I make things fun, you know, but I just don't want to do anything. I don't, I won't do anything with you, but I'm fun when I'm at home doing nothing. No, she, she doesn't want some 40 year old guy. She wants a 20 something year old guy with a high sex drive that she can leave all her money to and have a great time. And nobody at 90 years years old wants to have sex. See, that's where I I lock out is I don't want to either. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I see. They don't want to and you don't want to. And I don't want to. So I'm not, I'm not going to be that guy rolling on top of you at 3 a.m. I'm not going to do it. You know, I I just want your money and I want to sleep until noon. Today, okay, so would, I you, slept- would you do that with would you do that with a gay man? Sure. If there's, no, if there's no sex and he's 90 and you're not, if there's no sex, he just wants companionship. Fine. All right. So, as long as I don't have to hold hands or kiss, I'm fine. All right. So get yourself on grinder then. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so then I don't have to do any. See, I'm not looking forward to tomorrow at all. Yeah, going back I, to work. I just, I, I'm, I'm just, I know that there's going to be a meeting at nine o'clock, and right. I know it's, uh, it's just, I did, I don't want to do it. Don't make me do it. Just say I don't have to. Yeah, you, you know, you can always quit. <laughs> no one's forcing <laughs> you to work. <laughs> yes, they are. The, the all the bills that come in every month, they force right. me to work. Right. That's true. I'm so, I understand Peter from Office Space so much. I, uh, I don't like my job and, uh, I don't think I'm going to go anymore. You're just not going to go? Yeah. Won't you get fired? I don't know, but I really don't like it and, uh, I'm not going to (laughs) go. So you're going to quit? Nuh-uh. Not really. Uh, I'm just going to stop going. 